Hi there, this is David, and welcome to New RPG News. This news, it kind of comes out of left field. It's kind of a strange one. This is some news that nobody asked for. Do you guys remember Shadow Madness? Shadow Madness was one of the worst games to ever grace the original PlayStation 1. It was absolutely terrible. Um, the history behind the game is kind of interesting, though. It was made by some some dissatisfied Square Soft localizers and developers, um, including Ted Woolsey. They left Square and they created their own studio and then they created their own kind of Final Fantasy killer. And this game was horrible. They had no idea how to actually create a game. Um, it was a two-disc game. But each disc had like its own world on it. So whenever so every time that you had tried to like go from one world to the other world, you had to like switch discs. Um, because it was made by a localization team and because it was Western developed, the story is actually halfway decent. And the dialogue is actually pretty funny. It's one of the few Western developed JRPGs out there. Um, it's kind of out there with like Secret of Evermore and Black Sigil, kind of in a very small group. But whereas Secret of Evermore and Black Sigil actually have some redeeming qualities, Shadow Madness doesn't. And here they are going to release this game that was previously exclusively on the PlayStation. They're going to release it now on Steam on February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. You could gift this to somebody that you hate. It's like an anti-Valentine's Day gift or something. It's just... It's just, like, so weird. It's like, who asked for this? Who asked for this? There are so many good games on the original PlayStation that haven't been ported yet. There's Xenogears, Thousand Arms, Tales of Eternia. I'll take all those. Hell, I'll take Beyond the Beyond, for God's sakes, over Shadow Madness. Shadow Madness was absolutely terrible. Now, this is something to ponder, though, because not a lot of console games actually do get... Um, released on the PC, at least older games. Nowadays, it seems like every single console game is also getting a PC release at the same time, but having these older games that were originally released on the SNES or the NES or the PlayStation actually come out on the PC, that's kind of a rare thing. So, this is interesting in that regard, and I would be interested to know if this may open the floodgates for some more games to be released. Other games that have been on maybe some more obscure consoles. Games like Lost Odyssey or Blue Dragon that were stuck on the 360. Maybe some games like Albert Odyssey that were stuck over on the Sega Saturn. Maybe some Dreamcast games. You know, maybe we can actually get something pretty cool out of this. I don't think that Shadow Madness is going to become popular all of a sudden because, you know, it needs to be a good game first for that. But maybe some other developers might take note and be like, hey, you know, we have this game sitting there. We have the code. We have this. You know, we might as well make some money off of it. We might as well release it. That would be nice. This is good for game preservation, but it's just like a really weird way to start. This is something to look at and to ponder and to think about that hopefully we will get more games released. Hopefully we'll get more deserving games released. Um, I, I, I'm here to say that I'm glad that this is happening. I'm just also confused that it's happening. This game isn't even in high demand. Like if you could eBay and you try to find this game, you can find it complete inbox, black label for like $20, $30. Like, if you try to find something like, you know, Xenogears or Tales of Eternia or some of these other games, you're, you're going to be spending hundreds of dollars. So this game is not exactly in high demand. I don't know why they're doing this. Maybe they just are doing a cash grab. Maybe I'm thinking too much into this. But it would be nice to think that this might maybe somewhat open up some more floodgates for some other lost games to help with game preservation. Hopefully. I don't know. 
This is just something interesting. And I was reading about this today, and I was like, wow, that's so odd. I just have to make a video about this, you know? It's just so weird. So let me know what you guys' thoughts and comments are about this, this worst, worst game ever uh, getting re-released here on the PC. It's, it's fascinating. I can't imagine it costing any more than $5 because, ugh, man, even there it's like a ripoff. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> what a piece of junk. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good day.